The Capital Region's Classic Rock Station Q1057. I'm Steve King and excited today to talk to legendary producer and engineer Eddie Kramer. Eddie Kramer has worked with everybody from Jimi Hendrix to Clapton, to just about anybody else you could think of. He has been a legend in the recording industry and got to work with Jimi Hendrix on several projects, including one that is kind of obscure and almost unknown. Uh, you got to check it out. It is a brand new set that just came out called Jimi Hendrix Live in Maui. And the story behind it is crazy. So, first and foremost, welcome to the show, Eddie. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, very well. It is uh, a pleasure to talk to a legendary engineer like yourself who has worked with so many amazing artists. Uh, thank you, sir. So, uh, tell me about this. I- I'm a big Hendrix fan, and I knew that this existed, but I had never really known much about it, this live in, in Maui um, album and what's being released today. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the idea behind the movie uh, that we put together, it's a documentary about a movie that was made in 1970 called Rainbow Bridge. And that movie was a total disaster (laughs) when it came out. It did have Jimi Hendrix in it. Um, He was kind of um, finagled into it by his manager into that movie. And the story is that Jimi was convinced by his manager, Michael Jeffries, to perform in Maui. Mm-hmm. Now, Jimmy was on the road in, uh, out in the West, and then they flew out to Hawaii, to Honolulu, for a huge show. Uh, it was like a 15,000-seater, sold out. Jimmy played amazing. It was a fabulous show. I wasn't there, but I've always heard that it was an amazing show. Mm-hmm. And then... His manager said, hey, you know, uh, we're doing this little movie over in Maui. Why don't you come over? And the band, being the experience, thought, oh, this is going to be part of our vacation. Right. Boy, were they wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they get there, and these crazy people be- behind the scenes making this movie, called, which would be called Rainbow Bridge, had sold Michael Jeffries on the idea to do this very, very strange, esoteric movie in Maui. And Michael convinces Jimmy, look, come check this out, you know, it's going to be a small audience. And Jimmy gets to play in front of 400 people instead of 15,000. Wow. And they're all a bunch of hippies and they're stoned out of their bloody mind. (laughs) So imagine what our movie is about. It just tells the story of how insane it was. But here's the good news, is that Jimmy gets to play and does two shows. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, both of them were recorded audio-wise. However, there's another part of the craziness. Imagine you're the film guy, right, and you're supposed to be filming Jimi Hendrix, and you run out of film? (laughs) Hello, baby. I mean, it doesn't get much stupider than that, does it? No. So and and I heard that basically he was playing the stage was on the you know basically on the side of a volcano and there were 50 mile an hour winds and like you can't hear the drums at all and you guys had to go and basically try to remanufacture parts of it is that right Well 50 plus mile an hour winds so you can imagine the what the guys are trying to do to prevent the wind from you know destroying the mics and and you wouldn't be able to hear Jimmy's voice on mm-hmm. the guitar amp, so they put foam. I think they must have had underneath it, they must have had socks and underwear and foam. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some pictures, and it looks and, like Jimmy's singing into a basketball. Yeah. They have so much foam on it. I know, it's stupid, right? <laughs> but thank goodness, at least they, they managed to get some of it, because when we got the tapes back, uh, after Jimmy died, obviously, it was a re- it took me a couple of months before I could actually go in the studio I'll bet. And, and, and listen to the tapes. So Mitch and I went in, and we listened, and we said, you know, I gotta, he, Mitch said, i got to replace a good portion of my drums. Some of the drum tracks were okay, but he went in, listened to it, rehearsed. We did 
one or two takes on each one, and he was brilliant. I mean, he got every beat wow. perfect. Wow. I mean, how he did that was just a tribute to his genius. You know? Especially the live Hendrix is so it, frantic, yeah. you know? Sorry to say yeah, say again. It, it's like the live Hendrix performances were so frantic and so, you know, freeform. It, I would think as a drummer, it'd be damn near impossible to do that. No, but he did because he, wow. did, he knew his parts. He knew Jimmy. He studied it. And bang, one t- we would punch him on another tape and he would be perfect. So we mixed that and that became part of Rainbow Bridge, a couple of the tracks. Now on this new addition with the documentary from all the scenes that we put together and interviews and all the rest of it, we also have both shows that they play. Wow. It's the cool thing that Jimmy and I were mixing for an album just before he went to Hawaii, which was called The Cry of Love. Mm-hmm. And we had Dolly Dagger on there and Night Goes Flying and, and all that kind of stuff that we mixed together. So he goes out to Maui, and he's actually playing that new material live for the first time, which we, which was then recorded. Wow. That's, that's amazing. And so then, that's what it, this thing is all about. It's about the craziness and about the good music. Jimmy played his butt off. I mean, the band was tight mm-hmm. for those two shows. Well, I can't wait to see the documentary. It's a crazy, crazy story in rock history that even being a huge Hendrix fan, I had never really heard the craziness behind it. Uh, but I have heard that the performance was pretty amazing, so I'm I'm glad that you were able to save the performance uh, so that you know the world can hear the brilliance of Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, I mean, it's with modern technology, you know, you, you get the best of analog and the best of digital and try to extract as much as you can from, you know, big woolly uh, socks over the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is out today, many different formats, live in Maui, the Jimi Hendrix experience. Uh, I can't wait to grab it and, and spend some time with it. And Eddie Kramer, a pleasure to talk to you today. Take it easy down there. Thank down you. Yep. Have a good one. You too, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.